This video is brought to you by Osmocote, the planters plant food. Hi, I'm Ryan Lee from Indiana University. We're in the research greenhouse today talking about thrips and aphids and what you can do about them at home. Aphids in particular are a bad insect pest to have at home. They uh, have a piercing mouth part that actually bores into the stem of the plant, into the phloem, which is where the plant transports the sugars, and it pulls those sugars out and sometimes it gets so much that it even makes a droplet on the other end of the aphid that attracts ants. So frequently, if these things are outside, you'll see a colony of ants swarming around your plants, and lo and behold, there'll be a bunch of aphids in there as well. Thrips, on the other hand, are very small, cigar-shaped bugs that oftentimes live in, inside the flowers. They're very inconspicuous. The way to find them is, is to dust the, the flowers off onto a white sheet of paper, and you'll see some very small bugs um, moving around. So in the research greenhouse, uh, whenever we have an infestation of thrips and aphids, we're going to make a treatment of a commercial pesticide, an insecticide, typically a synthetic insecticide. So the benefit of that is that they work really well. The drawback of synthetic insecticides is that, well, you've got to have a license to apply them and to buy them frequently. And then whenever the person comes in here to, to treat the, the greenhouse, everybody has to leave the greenhouse, which means I miss out on a day of research. So uh, a lot of this is just, just not usable for the homeowner. So I want to talk about um, some home remedies that, that you could do uh, to, to take care of these really common uh, garden pests. So really common treatment for aphids and thrips is insecticidal soap. So you can go to a garden store and you can buy insecticidal soap and there's directions about diluting it and how to use it and when to use it. But for the homeowner, um, it's simple enough just to use your dish soap, right? So the way that we would use this dish soap is make about a one to 2% solution of dish soap in water. That's not a lot. That's about two tablespoons to five tablespoons per gallon of water. All right, so some plants are going to be a little bit more sensitive to a soap treatment than other plants. So gardenias, for example, tend to be very sensitive. So what you'd probably want to do is make up your, your solution, treat a small portion of, of one leaf, and see if you get a response out of that. Sometimes the leaves will burn. So if they don't and you feel like you can make a full treatment, then you're ready to, to treat the entire plant. So the next thing is, don't do this to a stressed plant. So don't do it in the heat of the day, and don't do it to a drought-stressed plant. So if your garden hasn't had a rain in several days, you don't want to go out there and make a treatment with a soap. So soaps are going to kill on contact. That means that things like stalk borers, things that get inside, or leaf miners, things that get inside leaf or plant tissue, they're not going to receive a treatment of the soap, and they're not going to be killed. Um, things like caterpillars and leaf hoppers are a little bit too large to be treated with soap, and so we, we don't get a, a lot of effective treatment out of those. However, things like aphids and thrips, mealybugs, spider mites, uh, even white flies are soft bo bodied small bugs that can be treated with soap, and it's actually a pretty effective treatment. So there are variations of these soap mixtures. So some people will say add olive oil. That'd be about a 5% solution of olive oil and a 1% solution of dish soap. Other people will say you, you can add certain sort of pungent herbs, things like cayenne pepper powder or garlic powder. Um, and then there's also essential oils, things like rosehip essential oil or peppermint oil um, that's been indicated by, by homeowners that that kind of repels some of these bugs as well. So this has been a gardening tip from uh, Ryan Lee in, at Indiana University. Today we were in the, the research greenhouse talking about aphids and thrips and using soap treatments to get rid of them at home.